mentoring. We all get asked questions by people who are thinking about going into massage school and entering the profession. Um, and if you remember back to those early days when you started practicing, for some people it was last year, for some people it was last century. Um, for me it was last century. You um, think back and try to imagine how nice it would be if someone had taken you under their wing and showed you some of the pitfalls of the profession and trying to help you navigate some of those early, early days. Every quarter, at least, probably in the state of Florida, thousands of massage therapists graduate from massage school and they hit the world running. They've got their little certificate in hand and their lotion in the other hand and they're ready to go. Um, have you ever considered taking one of those people under your wing and helping them along, helping them get started? How nice would it have been if somebody did that for you? all those many years ago. Isn't it time that we start helping each other in, these, in this profession rather than trying to destroy each other in this profession? You can report someone for not putting their license number on their business card and get them fined $100. Or you can suggest to them, hey, do you realize that you could get a fine for not putting your number on your, on your business card or your advertisement? We all get busy. We all need a little help sometimes, and none of us know everything there is to know about everything. So maybe we should step back and figure out how we can help elevate our profession instead of just elevating ourselves. Think about mentoring. Think about finding a promising young massage therapist and taking them under your wing and helping them be all they can be. Helping them be more than they thought they could be. Would that help you at all?